Happy Monday! I wanted to hop on and share with you why I absolutely never cheat on my nutrition or my diet or whatever the lingo is that you choose to use. Um, I am Emily and uh, I'm gonna try to get a better angle here. There we are. Okay, perfect. Um, so coming out of the weekend and having it be Monday morning, I was thinking about this weekend and there was a lot of food available to me. There was a lot of family time, there was a date night, there was some fun. And that included some foods that I would not normally consume on a regular basis, such as cupcakes, such as some ice cream. What else was there? There was something else that was really yummy. I don't know, but there was some pasta, delicious. Um, so I really enjoyed my weekend. Hi Greg, thanks for joining. Um, but all of that said, now comes Monday, now is the, you know, the day after or the day after the weekend and what do I do? I never cheat, hi Sylvia, on my nutrition. I don't. I ate all those foods that I just listed to you but I never would say that I had a cheat meal or that I cheated. I had to learn um, a long time ago to change the inner dialogue around my nutrition and exercise to be positive always. And so that means that the word cheat really isn't in my vocabulary when it comes to health and fitness. And I think this is a valuable lesson uh, for, for those of you watching. It certainly was for me, so I wanted to share it with you today. Cheating to me implies that I've done something wrong. It implies to me that if I cheat, I then have to do something or not do something later to atone for that cheating. So that might mean that, you know, come Monday morning, I have to work out to make up for all the food that I ate over the weekend from my cheating. And then the week goes by and there's another delicious option and I take advantage of it, I cheat again, and then I'm just continuously cheating and trying to make up for it. Hey Andrew, and then I'm on this downward spiral of never really being able to catch up with my cheating because I always feel bad and I'm always trying to then act in a way that's going to reverse that. To me, that's not why I like to eat nutritious foods or why I like to exercise. I want to do those things from a place of positivity. So I want to exercise and I want to eat pretty nutritionally sound foods most of the time so that I can feel really good, so that I can perform at my best. Not so that I can make up for having, you know, whatever I had over the weekend. So for me, cheating is out. I don't do it at all. I do enjoy treat foods. And so I've switched the vocabulary just a little bit, hey Bob, from cheating to treating. And so I will most certainly engage in treat foods. To me, this is a more positive term. To me, treating myself is something that, you know, I, I can do not, not super often. It's a special occasion. Hi, Camila. Um, but it's definitely not a negative thing. And then come Monday morning, like this Monday did today, I treated myself over the weekend, I had a great time, but I'm not in the gym trying to make up for anything negative that I had done, right? Instead, it's a place of positivity for me. So, and I've posted videos on my YouTube channel, if you've seen it before, it's Heart My Body Fitness on YouTube. I posted a video about how I stopped hating food and about how I balance my food out. Usually I follow like an 80-20 and then depending on the situation, maybe it's more like, 60 40 or sometimes 50 50 between foods that um, are more nutritionally um, you know uh, better nutritionally versus foods that I just kind of want um, from a mental standpoint um, so if you want to check those out heart my body fitness on YouTube I think it'll help to kind of clarify some of this but um, anyway the, the quick tip that I had for you I'd love for you to try this and then let me know what you think is instead of cheating try treating Try flipping that switch, that inner dialogue from something negative to something positive, and I think that it will help you to enjoy your nutrition, enjoy your exercise without the guilt. That's the key, not feeling bad about what we've done. I hope that was helpful to you. If it was, let me know. I so appreciate you guys watching, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Go treat yourself.
maybe, or maybe just getting a workout, or maybe just have an awesome day. Treating is occasional. Cheating, I never do it. Okay. Hey, Lori. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye.